without favoring any fighter. By the way, I want to give thanks again, special thanks to His Excellency uh, Tosha Lashik of Saudi Arabia for making this undisputed possible after 25 years. The last Saudi match was nothing void of classical, intelligent, excellent display of sportsmanship. Intelligent, great one fight. That's how to read that fight. Going back to watch that fight, it has changed my perspective. There's a difference between you watching it live as it comes. It tends to be a little bit emotional. And if you're standing, citing either Fury or, or you say, there's that tendency of giving split, split rounds to who you're favoring. But when you sit down, come back and we watch the entire tape, I now understand before my opinion was, oh, Alexander, you said classically won the entire fight. I was a little bit emotional because I felt, you, I felt Fury felt to capitalize on his, his size, his hands to come out vic being victorious, victory in that match. But after I went back to watch this match, it has changed my perspective. And I want to challenge all sport lovers, boxing lovers, go back, watch that fight with an open mind. You, 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 uh, you, you will see exactly what I'm discussing here right now. Okay. It's my brother. Fury, yeah. activa Fury activated the rematch clause. You know, Beautiful. You know they had the rematch clause and they, they activated it. Now, how do you see that fight playing out? The rematch playing out? I, I, it wouldn't be for the undisputed um, um, championship because the winner, um, I think... The winner of um, the uh, IBF bet will be on the line for du uh, Dubois versus Egovich, yeah? Yeah. So then they will have to face Joshua. So Joshua is en route to becoming a three-time uh, world champion. And after that, probably reunite the belts again um, against the winner of Urian Usyk rematch. That would be interesting, but how do you feel about that? Well, that's interesting, you know, that's interesting because there's no way, uh, there's no way um, you say will be able to come in and do on play that undisputed, you know, which uh, Fury has reactivated it, play it and then still defend the IBF. So I think what is done is right because um, gone are the days that boxers were holding on to titles. Right now, the field has to be open. There are so much range of good fighters right now waiting to step in. There's no room not to give them opportunity to showcase whatever they can do. So Tosha Lashik is doing excellent job and a, and a big kudos to him. Yeah. So getting back to the rematch again, um, if you look at the last fight we just watched, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't mind giving you a little bit of my scorecard. Of what I've discovered in that fight, if you wouldn't mind, I would like to to share a little bit with you what I have learned in the last fight. Would that be okay? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Listen. Yeah. So in round one, if you look at that match very well, initially I said, which I still maintain that what I said in round one. Round one could have gone either way, but Tyson had the upper hand. You say came to steal that round one from him. But I will still give it to, to, uh, to Tyson Fury round one. Now we get into round two. You said came in very strong because it ended round one. Very... That round. I gave you said that round two. Now we move into round three. You said again came in very strong and did excellent because for some reason, the uh, uh, Gypsy King was playing. So I gave round two, round three to Fury again. Very strong. You said came in very, very strong and took that. Then round four, Fury now wake up and came out very strong. I gave it that round to him. So Fury had round four. So round five, Fury came back again very strong with a lot of body sharp, uppercut. I gave round five to 
Tyson Fury. Round six, Fury re-established dominancy in round six. A lot of body shot, upper court, but he failed to finish the fight. He had all the opportunity to have closed the deal in round six. He let Usyk out of the hook. I gave him that round again, round six. Round seven, Usyk came again, very strong, very strong. I gave Fury against the round seven. He, all these, these are the wrongs you say could have ended the show. I mean, these are the wrongs. Fury, Tyson Fury could have ended the, the show. But I wouldn't mind if someone have any opinion like a split decision wing in round seven, either to Fury or to to Yusek, because Yusek came back at the end very, very strong in round seven. But I will give round seven to Tyson Fury. Round eight. Yeah, Yusek continued from where he stopped in round seven. Retry to establish dominance. Letting Tyson Fury to understand. Listen, I'm still in the spot. I'm still in the show. I'm still in the game. He re-established it and took that round, round eight. Then round nine, I don't know what happened to Fury. Fury realized that Yusek took round eight. So Fury came strong at the opening of round nine but faded away completely. So that round nine was a decisive, could have been a decisive factor. But at round nine, the match was even because the knockdown, we don't know. But Fury that we know in round nine, Fury we know, we've seen him take heavy shot, go down and come out. I think if the referee did not step in and give that standing head count, I think Fury could have been down. But uh, Fury, I know, I believe he could have been, he could have come up. I don't think uh, uh, Yusek could have ended that fight around nine. I think he could have still been a count, could have been a knockdown count, but Tyson Fury could have come up in round nine. So because of that, I gave to, I gave to uh, Yusek 10-8. That's the round which Yusek had. 10-8. And if you get 10-8 and look uh, and you go back to round one, Fury had round one, round two, you said had it, round three, you said round two, you said had it, round three, you said had it, round four, Fury had it, round five, Fury had it, round six, Fury had it, round seven, Fury had it, then round eight, Fury had it. So at round nine, you said re-established dominancy and took with 10-8. At that right there, the match is even out again. That's like going into round 10, even. At that point, the match was even. Then round 11, then round 10, Yusek came out again very strong. Then Fury woke up legs. I gave that round to Yusek. And that is six, six, six to five. That's 10, 9 rounds, 6 to 5. Then you get down to round 11. So now, at round 10, the match was still even. It could have gone either way. Round 11 was... Round 11 and 12 were to be the deciding factor of the sport. I still believe it was a split decision match. It could have been... It, it could have been even at that point because in round 11 i gave it to tyson round 11 i gave round 11 to tyson round 10 he could have gone either way just like round 11 round 11 and 12 could have gone either to tyson fury or to use round 12 could have because gone around, round 10 uh Uzi didn't come out he took he took the round off basically yeah. i honest yeah. because you, it, no, you, it, you, it, it, it didn't come out to finish 10. the job yeah yeah you said took the round yeah, but, but it didn't come out to finish the job, basically. He didn't come out. He took the run off. Run 10. He took the run. Which hurt, is true. He hurt. Uh, it's, is ca true. it's called a knockdown in run 9. And we expected him to take the run 10. And basically he stopped uh, he, Fury. But he didn't he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't. put the pressure on Fury. He just was there just to recu recuperate his uh, his energy, basically. You have to understand. One thing I noticed about Yusek. When you don't see Yusek coming out fully, he's hot. He's just running around to get back. 
<laughs> like if you see when we were in round six and round seven, you said it was seriously hot. That's why I blame Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury had every reason to have ended that spot right there. But it's that Shoboli. That that's bullshit. That's nonsense. You've not ended. And I don't know if the corner did not spoil him up. The corner could have let him know, boy, you're behind. Boy, it's not time to celebrate. Boy, go in and finish the spot. He let who he let Yusek out in round seven. He let him out in round six. He let him out in round five. Yusek came back in round nine. And Usek could have also ended the round, the round nine. But for the standing head count. I still believe, probably, I may be wrong, I may be right. Probably, nobody knows the probability. But looking at the antecedent, Fury always come up from a massive knockdown. But rather, the, the referee step in. That position, that time, that five minutes, that five seconds, that the referee step down. A match is won with just one second. 60 seconds is enough to win, 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 win the match. You just take one bullet. And that's it. So that five seconds that the referee stepped in and stopped the match and then start giving the standing head count could have been enough for Yusek to close the show. So, but still, at that round nine, which I say it was a 10-8 round, that's when the match came back even. So Yusek even the round again. So going into round 11, Yusek failed again to close the show in round 11. I mean, in round 10. He failed to close the show in round 10. But I say give him round 10. It's a 10-9 round. I just gave it to him. So at that point, at that point, Yusek is up by one. By one round. That's that, At that point, it was in my own score. It was 56, 57-56. Uh, 57 for Yusek, 56 for, for, for Fury in round 10. Then going back to rank 11, yes, he could have gone either way. I understand when the judges gave it to Yusek, I understand. He could have gone either way. But I gave that round to Tyson Fury. So the match also again, even out again, 56-56. Uh, the match even itself out, 56-56. Now going into round 12. Yeah, that's where... I also said he could have gone to Yusek. He could also have gone to Tyson Fury in rank 11. I mean, rank, rank 12. Rank 12 was a war. He could have gone either way. I understand some people gave it to uh, Yusek. Some people gave it to Tyson Fury. But I gave rank 12 to Yusek. He could have gone to Tyson Fury. I gave Taz rank 11 to Tyson Fury. He could have gone to Yusek. So in my own opinion, not, without being biased, I congratulate Alexander Yusek for having that split decision. But in my own opinion, I think the match could have been a draw. So a split draw, basically. Yeah, it's a split draw. Yes. So uh, that that's, be, be, that's after you basically watched the whole fight. After I, mean, I sat down, I've gone through that tape five times today, today, and I came with that decision without being like biased without watching like the professional who already would stand with their own uh supported boxer and go on impartial judgment but definitely the one of the one of the scorecards that we had the scorecard that came the first i don't know where the guy came from 115 112 you said that was a very wrong scorecard the the, 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 the the two judges that scored 114, 113, Fury, 114, 113, you said those were the consistent judges. The guy that scored 115, 112, I think, missed is the reason why you said won that fight. It could have been a split. It could have been 113, 113. It could have been 113, 113. <laughs> My opinion, the match... So I understand where a lot of people say you say one. I mean, uh, Tyson Fury won the fight. I do understand right now. To me, if you really honestly, if you ask my opinion on this match, I would say the match was a draw. It was even. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. But split decision, I do understand. He could have gone either way. 
So there is no clear dominance as we thought. Tyson Fury failed to establish dominance in this fight. He had the tools, he had the legs, he was moving very well. A massive six foot nine inches man moving like a lightweight. But the only difference between Tyson Fury in that sport, in that in that games, and and uh, I wanna and give me one second. Um, the only difference in that fight with with uh, with with this guy in Ukraine. Oh, uh, uh, what is his name? Va- Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko. The difference in that spot between Vladimir Klitschko and Vladimir Klitschko brother is Vita- that v- Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko. The slight difference between you said, I mean, between Tyson Fury and Vladimir Klitschko is that Vladimir Klitschko would have taken the advantage of his eye. You said Fury never taken advantage of the fight. Because every time he stand and be giving straight jab, Fury was, I mean, uh, Yusek was confused. So even when he was doing slapping, because at some point, he had all the opportunity and he was just slapping Yusek. He could have still be standing there, be slapping him all around and get all the rounds. He would have done it. He could have placed you said in uncomfortable situation from round one to the end of the round because there's no how when he jumped in through any angle because you said was right there standing in front of him when he fell to throw the jab you said it's right there in his foot in his face when he's throwing the jab you said backs up so when he stops throwing that's when you say goes forward imagine if he had let the jab go in and be slapping him when he sent the jab, he was slapping it more with the body shot because the body shot wasn't really a punch. It was just a slapping and be slapping. Imagine if he had developed power and really, really punched and made the body shot stronger. Come on, man. You said could have ceased to exist, but he was just playing. No, he was doing show. I know he was enjoying himself, but at the same time, bro. Bro, this is a fight of your life. This undisputed. That's why he lost that fight. I understand if the referee gave it to Yusek, I understand. But in my opinion, it was a draw. It was a technical draw. Thanks, brother. I do appreciate it, guys. If you want to watch, if you want to watch the full fight and score it yeah. round by round, here's the link. Here, look at. Go to Turkey Ella Sheikh's uh, YouTube channel. He just posted the full fight. From this, you can score it yourself, so you understand why the reason why our brother Emma Tom Tom has scored this final draw after a tough review. So yes, yes, yes. always support the channel and stay blessed.